Check one, two. Are we on one, two? Yeah, we are. And here we go. All right. Priest. Priest. Oh, I spelled that wrong. I spelled it O-East. Okay. Let's see. Which one's an obvious priest? Where's a group of priests? Can we get a group of priests? Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Looky there. Looky there. Save image as. We'll save it right on the desktop for now-ish. For now-ish. Okay-ish. We'll pull this in here. Place it. Control T to drag it nice and biggie. And biggie. And enter. It's a little overexposed, so I'm going to slap on here. Let's make this full screen for you. Let's make it big for you. Uh, I'm going to slap on, let us see, some some curvature. Some curvature of the earth earthature. Maybe just bring them in a little. They're a little. Actually, you know what? That overexposed heavenly look is actually doing something for me. Okay, so let's see. They're a little too red. Let's change our red RGB and pull back some of that red. Scarlet looking beasts they are. All right. Any greenish up or down? No. No. We'll just snap that back. Blues. Blues. The hues of blues. Mm. Slight, slight heavenly glow. No, we'll just take those blues off. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Okay, so we want to pull this guy to the front of all this, right? Oh, he's the background, so we're going to have to put it on. Press Control J to duplicate it, and we'll pull him up to the front. All right, and then we'll take Magical Wand, and we will lower the tolerance, because we have no tolerance. We'll click there. We'll hold Shift, and oh, that's too much. Control Z. Let's get this. No, that's too much. Control Z. Let's change our thingy. Our tolerance, we're just getting less and less to 10. Hold shift, coat, there we go. Oh, too much. Control Z. Oh, too much. Control Z. Click here. Da, too much. Control Z. So let's even go lower. Let's go to five tolerance. And shift. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. <gasps> now we're getting somewhere. All right, we'll just keep clicking and ticking. Let's make that bigger for you. I have a habit of looking at it small for some root. Control Z and shift. And I think we might want to just go ahead and do this. Oh, too much. Control Z. Oh, no, I went too far. Control Alt Z. There we go. All right, I think we're just going to do this now. We're going to click the mask. And then we're going to invert the mask over here. And then... Let's come over here and come to our... <sighs> Alright, we don't need the mask. We want to come to our paintbrush. Paintbrush, we're clicked on the mask here. Mm. Let's undo that a little bit. Feather it out. Just Ooh, that's too much feather. That's a little too much feather. Click, get rid of it here. The ear muffins. Alright. Maybe uh, click back to the white and give him a little bit of his hair back. There we go. And back to the white and get out this stuff, that extra junk. All right, now we can take our priests and we can get them in the frame. We'll stick this one here, nice and, nice and priestly. And then we'll we'll press Control J and duplicate that layer, and we'll drag this top layer. Let's see who's the other guy we want. This dude. Yeah, we'll take him because he's got the praying hands. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll grab this, come here. Actually, we'll get this side right here, and we'll hit our mask tool, 
and that masked him out. So we got some two priests here. Looking goodish. Looking goodish. Now this guy, he needs a little work, right? How about a sharpening? Filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. A little more definition. Let's test it against itself. Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. It's a little gritty, but maybe lessen it just a little bit-ish. Off, on. Off, on. Okay, enter. Good, good to go-ish. Let's stick a... Uh, outer glow and see what happens here pump it up pump up the outer glow opacity let's find a nice color for it <sighs> Ooh, the whitish or the reddish so we need to pull back so we can see it in context the whitish the whitish stands out more and looks more angelic. All right, let's go with that for now. Let's see if a drop shadow does anything for us. Crank that up. I don't see it. I don't even see. Oh, there it is. Okay, we don't want to see that. We want to see something more like. We don't want to see this at all, actually. Take it off. Okay. Maybe it's the thing that's getting me is the skin tones are different. So let's go ahead with Homeboy here and we'll throw on a hue and saturation and then we'll hold Alt and link it to only him. And we'll actually come over here for these dudes and throw on a and saturation. Take off the curves for a second. Oh, it's better without the curves, actually. We overdid it with those curves. What we can do is sharpen them up with the filter. Sharpen. Give them fat lines. Let's see. What do we got? Off. On. Oh, we're only affecting this one on the right. Um, it's a little much, right? Unless we want to really define him. No, he's too dark. He's turning too red. It's getting pixelated. So you got to find that sweet spot. But this is okay. It's a little more in focus. Okay, so now we'll come and do this one and we'll just go to filter unsharp mask and it should give us the same settings yeah that darkens them up a little bit now we'll go to our saturation here open that up and maybe see what happens if we get a different skin tone not purple ooh look at that we're getting closer now to the uh, to the boys skin tone know what I'm screaming. So let's take this off. Hmm. The red. The scarlet red. Okay. Maybe bring down the saturation a bit. Maybe bring the lightness. No. We need that back up at zero. Or actually even the brighter kind of looks interesting. Hmm. We'll keep it at zero. Okay, saturation's good. Let's pull his skin tone back a little more. Like that. All right, so then what we'll do is we'll take this one and we'll hold Alt and drag it down to this one. No, what just happened? Let's undo that. It doubled itself. Okay, hold Alt. Is that link there? Okay, 
and we'll link this one to here. Did it work now? This one's the one on the bottom, the left, and this one is the one on the right. So it did work. We should have done that from the start before we, well, whatever. Okay, that's fine. It's good, it's good to go. So now we're gonna look at where are we gonna put the tag times? The tag times is gonna have to go down here in the corner, I believe. And so we're gonna have to shift homeboy over this way. Ooh, now you see the staff. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we have this guy cut out. So I'm gonna go back to my brush and just get rid of that. And then switch back here and see if we get more arm. No, we don't have more arm. Okay, so what we got to do here is we're going to have to grab this picture right about here-ish. And click Control-T. And then drag his arm. Oh, we're behind something. What do we do? We're behind the mask. Are we behind the mask? I'm a little confused here. We're behind the mask. Okay, let me click off this for a minute. Actually, you know what? Apply transformation, cancel. Actually, I'm going to pull this out here for now. And just click OK. And then I'm going to now take my brush and remove the mask. Well, the mask is not removing, is it? Okay, never mind. What am I on the... Oh, I'm on the mask track. Okay. Now the mask track. I'm an idiot. Okay. So what I'm going to do is undo. Oh, control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Get out of my stupid... Get out of here. Go away. Control Z. Okay, we got the box back. So problem is... Control Z again. Problem is we're on the mask layer. We're supposed to be here. Control T. Drag him out. enter okay sorry about that guys but now you know now you know now you'll never make that mistake okay so let's oh, see now I'm back on the wrong track undo I just made the same mistake I need to come back to the mask track no and then I need to switch back to black and black erases black erases and I don't want to be racial about it or anything like that all I'm saying is black erases and white brings back brings back I don't know brings back the good things and the bad things see look if I if I had white and I want to go like that I just brought back a bad thing so let's not do that but let's see now yeah, we got our tech times somewhere over here tech times no it's gonna be in images Times. And let's use. We should save a gold one. Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we now? All right. Let's take this one because it's pretty plain. Oh no! Sorry. Edit. Undo. Cancel that. E escape. That's the wrong one. I need one that is transparent. Like that. Hmm. Alright, we'll do this one then. Alright, drag it in. It's small. Hold shift. Drag it bigger. Bring it on over. This is what we made this room for with the arm. Okay. Enter. Drop shadow, maybe bigger, darker, bigger, less of a fade, smaller, less of a fade, more of a, f less of, more of a fade, smaller, uh, off, on, and uh, stroke, yeah, okay. There we go. How's that looking? I think the boy still is a little too... 
I don't know. I don't like his color, so still stands apart. So let's go with him. We, we never adjusted his saturation or his hue, that's why. So we'll change him a little bit. Oh, what is that? We're on top of the tack times. We did want to make that gold, actually. No, it's got gold in it. Well, should we make it red? No. Purple, scarlet. What's scarlet? It's the red, right? It's a dark red. Goldish, greenish. Well, let's leave that at zero. We're getting off course. We'll put the tack times back above this layer. I'll take this U and saturation, link it to this layer only. Now we'll change the hue and we'll see the boy changing colors. So he's green, he's a green monster. He's a purple people eater. He's blue. Hmm. Blue hue, bring down saturation. He's black and white. So let's bring him back closer to zero. Now we desaturated 32, so come back with the saturation. But it looks better, a little desaturated, I think. All right. Well, let's just get him a color first. So we'll saturate it. Two green, two orange, two red, two purple, two red, two orange, two green. about there ish now bring down saturation let's try the brightness make him foggy like the priests I don't know if we should do that let's go to zero and I think we need to brighten them up actually maybe we'll just use it we'll do it with the curves it looked kind of cool brightened up right here like that. Like the lights are on him or something. I almost want to saturate him more. I kind of want to turn him blue. But let's see, we're at negative one. No, it's a little too weird. That's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and slap on a on the very we'll, we'll try on the very top. We'll slap on a curves. Maybe pop the brights a little bit, darken the darks to give it contrast. And did that pop everything? Did the priest? Did the boy? Did the tag times and everything? We might be done, actually. I don't know how much better we're going to get than that. That's pretty cool. I'd say that's pretty cool. I mean, come on. That is pretty cool. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to name it Pretty Darn Cool. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to name it Not Columbine. Not Columbine. I'm going to name it. Life is not easy. Internet is slow. We got things uploading. Okay, we're going to name it this. Wow, it's still processing? No way. Why is it still processing? We're going to take off the name. Take off this name and call it Peter Pan Eats Pickles with I 
was going to say the Pope, but we don't even want to put the Pope's name in here. With pandas. Okay, we're going to save it. Now, what was the name of it? I totally forgot. It was... No, that's not what we need. It was... Catholic priest sex abuse abuse scandal 2018 dash over 1,000 victims. Okay, we will take that title. We will save it. Shaboom, shaboom. And then we will go to save it again as a JPEG. A JPEG. Crank it up nice and big. Large file. Only reason you would go lower is if this goes over two, two megabytes. You want to bring it down a little bit until it goes under two. That's it. But if it doesn't go over two, crank it up as high as possible. Click OK. And you're on your way. Alright, so that's still going. But there we have it. And if we come over here... We've got our image somewhere right here. Preview it. And then actually, let's pull up the original. This was the original one. And let's put it side by side and see what we've got ourselves here. That's the original, and that is the recreation, the artistic in interpretation. Nice. He actually came out almost, almost similar, very much almost the same, the boy, except he's a little more, a little more pixelated here. But that's just the image quality and for when you sharpen it. But color wise, so, um, saturation wise, he's almost the same. Even after we brighten him up and sharpen him and slap back on the, the uh, what do you call it? Come back over here and you'll see you got the curves on him. So the, why are these curves aren't even on? Huh. That's interesting too, but I kind of like it. Oh, I kind of like it more like this, but I don't even know actually. Let's save this as a second, um, second, uh, let's save it as V2 because it's got such a long name anyway. So we'll just save it as version 2. Well, let's say you were to turn all these off. Whoops. That's what you had originally. So the curves actually darkened it up. Put this guy in, this guy in. That, that. And when we put that, it almost made it come back to, let's duplicate this. Here's an easier way. Control J, and let's just bring them up to the front and see the difference. Yeah, almost the same kind of, which is really weird because before we had these curves on, we had this channel, whoops, um, this saturation, or the, um, yeah, the saturation here. So let's see what happens if we take that off. Now he's too dark. So they just kind of counteracted each other. 
and then the priests with the saturation or the curves rather I think it's better without I think it's better without all right that's it that's how we roll I don't know what I'm gonna call this video but I'm sure it'll get age-restricted for something all right guys peace